yourself. Yeah. Okay. And it's all of a sudden. Yeah. Even everybody. I mean, there's a there's this pastor that we're uh, uh that used to with that that I guess not he a gangster pastor. Oh. Uh, all of a sudden, talking about he oh, wants to pull got, up. They got their pastor. Somebody oh, send it to me. I wanted to tell him, put the camera on me. I'm just gonna go, you know, from the jump. Listen, listen, Shannon. I'm not the one to play with. I, I, matter of fact, I'm not even gonna take that road. I'm, I'm gonna take a different road with you. Listen, let me start with respect and let me end with class, okay? You started out being very aggressive with Ja Morant Pops at a Laker game. If you are for black people, this is not the way to carry yourself. And and let me go further than that. You wanted to be tough with Mike Epps and, and you settled quicker than Diddy and Cassie. Listen. What's going on with all my billionaires out there? This the guy who's billionaire. Welcome to Who's Being There TV. Big favor, big abundance on today's episode. We're gonna be talking about Mace and Shannon Sharp. Going back and forth, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, man. So, Mace and Shannon Sharp, you know, had some words for each other. Where after uh, Shannon Sharp pretty much spoke on the situation with Mike Gibbs, said he's gonna pull up on Mike Gibbs. Mace had something to say about that, and you know, Shannon addressed it, right? He's like, okay, so not everybody coming out of everywhere, we got a fake gangster pastor, <laughs> got this man a fake gangster pastor, you know telling me to pull up you know mace responded mace actually was pretty funny in his response he pretty much saying like bro you had all the, you got this smoke for me and mike else where was that smoke for shannon sharp i mean where was that smoke for skip bayless my apologies where is that smoke for skip bayless you ain't have no smoke for skip bayless but you got smoke for for uh me and john morant dad and you know what i'm saying all these mike Epps, but you ain't got no smoke for for skill bailers you know what i mean so I, I understood that point also as well but this what shannon is learning all oh, the only thing shannon learning this will come with being the top dog bro like when you the top dog it's gonna come with this you know and 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 he gotta understand that people gonna come at you this is real you know what i'm saying that's just one of those situations that come with it when you the top dog people gonna come for you and shannon strikes me as a really confident guy but you just gotta understand it for what it is that's just like the comments you know what i'm saying man y'all leave them comments i appreciate them comments you know what i mean good or bad man they comments man it's just somebody else's thoughts you know what i'm saying like i can laugh at a comment you know what i mean like oh man it's like you, I, but i understand like i say he at the top though like shannon at the top club shay shay is is huge now so he at the top and he gotta understand what come with being the top dog you know what i'm saying people gonna come for you now now they they want your spot they want your spot him and cameron podcast sports podcast doing well they want your spot bro they gonna speak to you you know what i mean and they gonna bring up some of your mishaps you know it was wrong you know i won't say wrong but it's just like bro you at the middle of a laker game the way shannon carry himself yeah getting into it with john morant dad at a laker game you know ain't probably the best look you know what i mean I, that's easily something that could have been resolved you know behind closed doors or without y'all even having to make a big scene out of it that's just too much you know what i mean and other little situations like that he is true in regards to the skip bailey situation you know what i'm saying but you professional you on your job so i understand that you being professional and you being on your job and you don't want to ru ruin the relationship there with your employer you know what i mean and as he said he knows skip brought him into the business but you know he left the right way but i feel mace with that you know what i'm saying at the same time shannon got a little more freedom because he owned club shay shay so now he can pull up on some megas now he can you know what i'm saying even though he worked for espn too it's like okay now he can pull up because that's his company you know what i mean that he built from the ground up so it don't affect him to say what he want on his platform you know or you know do what he you know on his platform he not restricted like that so it's just different circumstances but you know one thing he gotta learn he the top dog now so he gotta understand people gonna come for him that's just what come with this you know what i'm saying that comes with it so he you know 
Just have a thick skin and keep doing right and keep doing what you're supposed to do. You know, you know people coming for you. You know, me personally, I don't even think you should speak. If you didn't speak to it, it wouldn't be no. You know, I feel like it would just fizzle out. Like, I'm going to use Jay-Z for example, bro. How much stuff y'all heard people say about Jay-Z? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, all the different stuff y'all heard people say about Jay-Z. You don't never hear Jay-Z respond to people when they say stuff. He don't never really say nothing. Unless it's in rap form. Like, a, you know what I'm saying? If it's rap shit, he gonna respond. You know what I'm saying? But if it, And you gotta be somebody for him to respond. But if it ain't no rap, if it ain't on that, then, you know what I'm saying? He ain't gonna respond. He ain't gonna respond. Because, you know what I'm saying? Like, on the rap end, like, yeah. He, I done seen him go at Wayne. And I didn't see him go at, you know what I'm saying? Jim Jones and, you know. All them guys, you know what I'm saying? Nas and Cam and Mob Deep. I seen them do that, but you know, when it's like real life stuff and people say stuff and like interviews or anything like that, anybody ever bring up Jay? Now, you don't never see Jay respond to that stuff because he just know, like, bro, come on, bro, I'm too far above that. And that's kind of how Shannon got to look at it. Like, bro, if somebody kept saying some outlandish stuff that you know not real, like, bro, why even speak to that? I wouldn't even speak to it. Like, you giving them the shine. You putting them in the algorithm. You know what I'm saying? By giving them the shine. Instead of you. And you shouldn't even address it. You shouldn't even address it. But one thing I understand is. It work hand to hand. See this is the point y'all don't get. This stuff work hand to hand. Shannon need content too. You see what I'm saying? So he's. If he being strategic. He's picking the guys that he need to. He, we want to pick. You know, to stay on some type of alignment with, you know what I'm saying? Mike Epps is still a pretty big comedian, you know what I mean? And he addressing the situations, right? He need the content too. So I I'm, I I'm, I feel like at this point, Shannon Sharp is addressing this stuff for the content. Because outside of that, it don't make sense. Like, why would you even speak on it, bro? Yo, 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 podcast is like one of the biggest, if not the biggest in the space right now you know what i mean like you're doing the biggest interviews with the biggest names it don't make sense for you to re to speak to none of that stuff but i can understand you feeling like you need to you know what i'm saying or you i can understand you doing it for content and i can understand you just feeling like you need to let people know like i'm not the one so i can understand it both ways you know what i mean in regards to mace he, they just trying to get in the algorithm mace was saying he did say a couple real things though like yeah you probably should have pressed you know uh skip bayless you know what i mean stuff like that but mace and them bro they just they just trying to get in the algorithm also as well you know what i mean that's all it is they everybody throwing rocks and they want you to address them to bring them the notoriety right and put them in the algorithm so that's what's happening right now with Mace. You know what I'm saying? Now he in the algorithm. So, you know, you got to you got to just take it for what it is, man. You got to just take it for what it is. I don't think nothing going to come from none of this stuff. It's not like no personal beef or vendetta. Like, I don't think this going to lead to nothing. I just think this is more so people taking shots at the guy at the top, which they always going to do. That's in any line of business. I don't care if you the top uh truck driver i don't care if you the top engineer i don't care if you the top real estate agent i don't care if you the top barber people gonna you know they gonna come for the top you know what i'm saying so especially in a public platform but even you know what i'm saying it, especially in a public platform you know so uh but like i said i think shannon just want to get the content so y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments man y'all tell me what y'all think man this the guy hoods being there big favor big abundance don't forget to like share subscribe like share subscribe this the guy hoods being there big favor big big abundance i'm gone